Hello Aries, we're getting started with your reading. Let's take a look and see what Spirit wants you to know. And this particular reading, what are the three most important aspects for our Aries friends today in love? Action. Okay. So taking action of some sort. Oh, here we go. Attraction. Oh, well, letting somebody know that you're attracted to them, letting them know that you care about them. And we have the masculine. So there's these fell out also. I'm not going to take them, but it's about pleasure. It's about balance. And it's about changing the dynamic in some way. So, okay. Nice messages for you, Aries. Let's look and see what is going on with you and your partner. And the messages for Aries and love. Right, nice, okay. Investing in the relationship in the recent past. There's some coolness right now between the two of you. The King of Swords is all cool, icy. Um, aloof is the best word, but it feels icy to me with all this blue energy. Given what Spirit is saying over here, I think that there needs to be more affection shown, more affection given. Uh, the energy of how your partner is viewing the situation is confusion. A little bit of chaos here. You know, the Seven of Cups, there's a little, there is a coral snake, which is a very poisonous snake sort of slipping out from one of these cups. So there's toxicity in this unknowing is what I'm going to call that. The unknowing, speculating. Okay, how this person views you, Aries. How does your person view you? They view you as not being sure if you want to work on this or not. They feel that you do, but they feel that you're in and out on this, that you juggle. Sometimes they feel very much you don't want to work on it. When we get the two and the three, we have five of coins, which is your partner feeling left in the cold because, you know, if you add those up numerologically and we go to the five of pentacles, that's that card. Your person feels as though they've won some sort of a victory. That is Leo energy. This is Capricorn energy. Um, they feel as though they've won some sort of victory and the Two of Wands is they're giving up the fight. They feel as though they've made a point with you somehow, some way. They would like to win, but that's not you know, this is, they want, okay, so your partner really wants you to acknowledge their stardom, so to speak. It's very egocentric energy. It's Leo. It's like they want you to treat them like they're in the limelight, that they're special. Uh, this is a card more of taking than giving. It's sort of like, ta-da, here I am, Aries, you know, uh, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. The Ten of Wands says, though, that there's a part of them that's ready to pack it in and take off. There's a lot of uncertainty right now, Aries. So let's see. Okay. They view the situation as wanting to take action, but their feeling is that when we look at this card, Aries, we see the Page of Cups. There's love here. It's immature love. There's a lot of passion, but we see when pigs fly. We see a little pig here with wings. This person's not grounded, so they don't really know what they're doing right now. They seem to be very childish, very much relying on some, perhaps some ch childlike ways of coping. Attention, I think, attention seeking is one of them. So of course, we're gonna clarify everything for you. What is hidden between the two of you? Aries, here you are in the reading. You are actually the hidden. The hidden person here in this reading is the Emperor card. Basically what this tells me, Aries, is that you have the power. You're the one 
who will actually make the final decisions. The emperor is the boss, right? The chess player, the person who makes a decision. Very strategic. You can be very, you know, you can be very lit and very uh, strategic in a positive way because we see the flow of sunshine coming through. Uh, but when we look down here, there's our, there's some darkness here too in what's happening between the two of you. There's not a single real card of love here, so the relationship looks as though there are challenges. Now, the oracle cards tell us that there is love, but we'll see what Spirit is going to recommend. What is Spirit recommending for our beautiful Aries friends? Manifest love. Enjoy the beauty of one another. The Empress card, you know, take delight in the moment, make love, treat each other beautifully, be sensitive, be kind, be loving, look your best for each other, find the magic in the relationship again, you know, the attractive power. And this is so much speaking to that, you know, it's like take action, you know, to, uh, to show your attraction. And the masculine really should do this. That is something that's that's missing here with this um, this page of cups energy. We're still in the shadow period of Mercury retrograde. Sorry for slow words. <laughs> Your outcome for this this time is a five of cups. This is feeling, to both of you, you just feel as though this is becoming a loss. It's a situation in which both of you are holding on to each other. You're going to try to give each other, you know, do a little bit of back and forth. But this is a beggar's card also. So, you know, what is it that each of you are begging for? And it looks like Aries, you know, you want, you want to be acknowledged too. So what I'm getting here is there's someone's taking and someone's receiving, but both of you feel that way. Both of you feel very much like you're holding yourselves back. You can't really give of yourself. Both of you feel as though the other one owes you an apology. We do have the Ten of Coins, so there may be resolution for this. Wow, the Ten of Cups. So those are your outcome cards. So this is a very profound reading for you. It speaks very loudly to the fact that both of you appear to be playing games. That That's the issue here. There's more of an ego battle going on than anything else. This is not about love, it's about ego. So now, I don't want to throw shade on anybody because we get in our ego typically because we're wounded. And so it's like why the wounding though is ego driven. So it's sort of like, well, if you don't pay attention to me, I won't pay attention to you. If you don't give to me, I won't give to you. That's why we have the six of coins here. Both of you are holding back. You're really not giving to each other because we see the four of coins. You're both holding on to your heart. You're being very self-protective at a time, you know, does look as though I would say in six to ten days or six to ten weeks, depending on whether you're, you're, um, in contact or not because sometimes people are watching and there's been no contact so I would say if you're if your person is present on a daily basis in your life you're probably going to work through this in the next 10 days let's go ahead and clarify this because this is a tough tough reading in my viewpoint this is not um, there's just not a lot of love radiating outwards from this reading and yet you both love each other very deeply Okay, so let's see here. So the clarification card is that there's an investment. However, somebody causes drama. We get, you know, well, both of you. This is mutual energy. So both of you are guilty of hurting each other. Both of you are guilty of trying to make it work, but not always at the most mature level. You offer, it's more like kids playing on the playground trying to give to one another. The Five of Wands, very ego-driven battling, and we have the Six of Wands here. So your partner feels as though they're gonna win this battle. You know, at the end of the day, you may, the two of you may be having a big ego fight, but they feel as though the way they win is they just leave you. 
you know, and I don't like that energy for you at all. The Six of Cups really speaks to the fact that you have a soulmate connection. You've been together for a long period of time, and it really speaks to the fact that both of you think that the other one owes an apology. All right, so let's see what else we have. Why is it King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? The Queen of Swords is here. So you're in stalemate. You know, you're both, both of you can be just as tough as the other. So, and you know, they ha they're not even looking at each other. Look at that. She's looking away. He's looking this way. Backs are turned to one another. That's your current energy. I don't think you're speaking much. And we have, here we go. Of course we have this. We have soulmate cards, but look at, remember I said the five of coins, two and three is five. And the five of coins is the card that says that your person feels as though you're living them out in the cold, but you feel left out in the cold. When we look at the seven of cups, these cards dropped out. You know, you're at a point in time, there's so much about your relationship that's really good. You know, the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. Both of you have fire in your belly to do this, but your person feels, again, my gosh, your person feels as though, yeah, here they, they want this again. This is how they view it. They view you as wanting all the attention, but they want attention. So there's an ego battle going on here. I also see the Leo energy. So your person feels very proud, very fiery, strength heard, lots of Leo energy. So there's a lot of fire sign here. But the Nine of Cups, your person feels as though when things get better, when things are good, the two of you are super happy. And they would prefer you over someone else. That's very clear. But we also see in this reading that... Um, they are keeping their options open at this point. They want someone who's very fiery and very attentive to them. And they feel as though when you give them that attention, it's fantastic. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups goes to the Ten of Cups. You know, they could marry you. They get so happy. But, boy, this is, um, right now there is uh, a battle going on. There is very much a situation for sure. All right, so why else do we have the five of coins here? And yeah, they feel as, okay. So they do feel as though you're becoming much more reflective. Your person views you now as a hermit card. You're closed off from them. Uh, they also view you specifically as being probably depressed. I feel like there's some really dark uh, energy here in terms of being manipulative, emotional, emotional manipulation is going on behind the scenes. So be careful what you get pulled into, Aries, because I definitely feel you're dealing with somebody who needs a lot of attention and they mistake attention for love. The judgment card, your person is willing to release this relationship. The judgment card is Scorpio energy. So, the Ace of Wands with the Page of Cups. Why are they here? Your person does view. I do think that they're going to bring you flowers as a way of trying to get the relationship grounded again. They feel defensive. They feel like it's a last-ditch effort. And again, we have the Three of Pentacles. They're trying to make things work with you, but, you know. And now I get the energy clarifying. The Emperor card is player energy. So both of you have this. This is, your, this is what's hidden underneath the surface. And both of you are coming in with this ability. This is Aries energy. This is Sagittarius energy. So both of you are quite capable of going out and dating other people, being interested in other people. Okay, so let's see. The Empress card. Why is this the advice from Spirit, Aries? You know, love is love, right? Two of coins. So basically what Spirit is telling you is you have a choice. You can either love, and what's the other choice outcome? You can either love and be happy and have the Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Okay, what's the option here? So you might be involved with a Taurus, a Leo, uh, other fire signs, you know. Okay, yep, 
or you can walk away and you can end the relationship. So you're really at a critical juncture in this relationship. It looks like you are very much trying to figure this out. It does show this is the outcome card. So the, the outcome is very good. Let's see. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why do you both feel it? So you're owed an apology as the outcome. Will you both apologize? I don't think so. Seven of Cups, you're both fantasizing about other people. I don't, you know, it's, it's not conducive to the energies that are showing up here. Your friendship is what wins the day. That's your path out here. That is your path out as a friendship that you've had over the time that you've been together. Let's see. So Aries, why is the four? The four of coins is here. Both of you are holding back until you want more fun in the relationship. So it's really speaking to the fact that both of you are holding back. You're fantasizing about how to make your life better. You're not really so focused on each other in this moment. But it does look like as the as at about six days from now, which is also about the time we come out of the shadow of Mercury retrograde, you do there you go. You have a new beginning in love. All right, so I'm going to take a look and see what the cards are here from this beautiful deck called the Hush Tarot. It's a very magical deck, very mystical. The messages are traditional tarot messages, at least on the numbering but the messages and the pictures are quite profound. So tell us something about the action that Aries needs to take or that both of you need to take. Tell us something about what the hidden dynamic hush tarot, okay. The 10 of coins, the 10 of coins. So what we see is a very abundant, we see this beautiful, the flowers, the bridge here. Yet the two of you need to bridge, you need to bridge your emotions with the practical um, because it's a very abundant relationship. So when we say take action, it's showing appreciation. It's having gratitude for what is the abundant relationship that is possible here. Taking action to manifest this because we have the Empress here which is a card of manifestation, which is the advice of spirit. <clears throat> and so it says, like, give up the ego stuff. That's really, this is all about having the, the strength, basically, to face the fact that the two of you have a lot of abundance and there are a lot of ego arguments and there's, a, there's some real, there's some maturing that is required in this relationship. And the halt of game playing and ego-driven conflict. So you do that by having gratitude. You know, laws of attraction. Um, when you feel the vibration of love and you emanate the vibration of love, you receive love. You receive security in love because that's a card of financial security. These cards are the same. Different decks, okay? Different ways of expressing it visually. Tell us something about the attraction between Aries and the person. And cards went flying, of course. There we go. Okay. So in the attraction, oh, beautiful, the Magician card. The Magician card is about making a magical, you have a magical union here. The Ace of Swords is that you need clarity about the fact that this is much better than the two of you give it credit for being. The Eight of Cups says that, you know, when you don't honor this relationship, you are in the process of, you know, leaving it because you're always growing or not growing. It's like organic, like a plant. Are you going to feed your plant? Are you gonna water your plant? You know, this is this is the Eight of Cups. It's walking away and yet the clarity is here that there's a lot of magic to be had in this relationship. I don't believe that the two of you have tapped into it. The Temperance card, you need to be very calm, cool and collected. You know, we have this take off your mask. This is, she has a mask of a bird, but she's not a bird. There's a bird watching her going, what happened to your head? Did you lose your head? No, you didn't lose your head. You're back to yourself again. And so it really means finding that beautiful balance. 
you know, really knowing that both of you need to feel attractive, both of you need to feel valued in this relationship. And the Ace of Cups is, you know, it's, it's a new love. It's a new beginning in love with your person. So Aries, let's see what the masculine is doing here. What is the masculine's message for us here in this reading? This is a number six. Four and, yeah, we have 42, which is six. The three of pentacles. You have to work together. The two of you have to work together. So the message is very clear that the three of pentacles will allow the two of you, we have the three of pentacles here, is going to be what allows the two of you to come into, uh, you know, really feeling the depth of love that you have for one another again. I am going to pull a couple of cards from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. All right, so Spirit, give us the choices here that would be indicative. Let's see, what is what does Aries need to know about the Tarot of Sexual Magic? Because we have the Magician card in here, so let's see. Let's see, here we have it, okay. The Emperor card, oh, interesting, being very strategic again. Oh, you need to talk. Look at this. The Two of Wands. You need to really, really show your attraction for each other. Sit down at the table. Rub each, under, rub each other's legs under the table. Break bread. Have some kindness. Be sweet. Be str You know, that's the best strategy in life is all about winning, right? So, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.